Hello, and welcome to part five of our lecture series on the integumentary system, or part five of our, our lecture series on the skin. And in part five, we're gonna be looking at disease conditions associated with the skin. Now, if we take a look at the skin, um, again, what we've got is a structure that's gonna be completely covering the body, that is gonna be exposed to a variety of other harmful agents in the world around us. Uh, we've got a, a set of cells uh, within our epidermis that are gonna have to continue to divide throughout the lifetime so that they need to maintain uh, the ability to divide, they need to have coherent, uh, good, reliable DNA within their cells, but they're relatively susceptible because they're close to potentially harmful agents outside of uh, the body. And so what we got then is a lot of mitotically active skin cells, stem cells, uh, very close to where they can be exposed to ultraviolet radiation and chemical agents. And anything that disrupts the activity of these stem cells, that disrupts the, uh, it disrupts the activity of the production of the, the epidermis could contribute to uh, a range of disease conditions. And so if we take a look at a variety of these, the first is going to be psoriasis. Psoriasis is a relatively common uh, skin disease that's associated with an increase in cellular proliferation. And so what we see is that skin cells are being produced at faster than normal rates. And so what happens then is we're going to start to see an accumulation of skin cells rather than kind of that normal kind of sloughing off. You know, they're still going to be sloughed off, but we're going to see this kind of thickened region in the area where we've got the psoriasis because we're going to be accumulating lots and lots and lots of cells uh, within the stratum corneum. And so if we take a look at this, it's going to be characteristic by the pinkish or reddish staining uh, flakes or plaques uh, within an area. And it's, again, an accumulation of cells within the stratum, uh, stratum corneum because we're producing uh, cells at a much faster rate than normal. Another type of skin disease that is gonna be relatively common, very, very common, are skin tumors. And it's estimated that in the adults, uh, about a third of all tumors are originated within the skin. Most of these are derived from the stem cells. And so people, uh, especially those with fair skin, a lighter colored skin, uh, are gonna be at the higher risk. And so there are three basic types of, of skin cancers, skin tumors. There are basal, basal cell carcinomas. These are cells within the stratum basale. Uh, this is the most common form, again, caused by damage to the DNA caused by ultraviolet radiation. Uh, squamous cell uh, carcinoma. Uh, squamous cell carcinoma is essentially caused by cells within the stratum spinosum. Again, because they've had some type of damage as a result of ultraviolet radiation or chemical agents. And then finally, we've got malignant melanomas. Uh, the melanomas are essentially derived from melanocytes. And so the melanocytes are rapidly dividing and because they're not normally going up into uh, the layers of the epidermis, these tend to be uh, invasive, uh, such as getting down into the connective tissue, into the dermis, and they have the a tendency to become more widespread. So if we take a look at the basal cell carcinoma, uh, at least within the United States, there's about 800,000 new cases per year. And this is the least deadly form of, of skin cancer. But basically what you look at, again, basal cells, cells within that stem cell population within the stratum basale, the foundation level within the skin, are going to undergo kind of uncontrolled cell division. They're gonna divide and divide and divide very, very rapidly. The nice thing about or there can be a nice thing about cancers, is that the basal cell carcinomas, they tend to clump together and they almost ne never travel beyond the skin. So if they become a cancerous region, they become a tumor, they're all confined and so they're easy to excise. In squamous cell carcinomas, we're looking at a, a type of cancer associated with about 200,000 new cases per year. And again, these are cells within uh, the stratum spinosa. Uh, once again, these are cells that are already within the epidermis, the higher levels within the epidermis because they're within the stratum spinosum. And so if they're going through uncontrolled cell division, they normally still tend to cluster together and stay in a relatively confined location. And so if this type of cancer is caught early, 
uh, it's often able to be dealt with by going through and essentially removing the cancerous region. They can be deadly though, uh, any of these cancers can be deadly if the cells uh, start to spread. And so if they, instead of being confined within the epidermis, uh, get down into the dermis, get down into the blood vessels and start to circulate through the body. Uh, at that point, it becomes very, very difficult to get all of those cells because you've got rapidly dividing cells that are now being scattered through the bloodstream, through the cardiovascular system and being scattered throughout the body or getting into uh, the lymphatic circulatory system and getting into and, and populating the lymph nodes. And the final type of skin cancer uh, we're going to talk about are the melanomas. Uh, the melanomas are about 50,000 new cases per year. And again, these are essentially uncontrolled cell division associated with the melanocytes. And so we're disrupting these cells, again, probably through ultraviolet radiation or exposure to some type of chemical agent. These are going to be rapidly dividing cells, and the risk with this is that these cells are often going to break away from the epithelia. They're going to break away from the epidermis, get down into the connective tissue, and they're going to spread through the body, either through cardiovascular system vessels or lymphatic vessels. And again, rapidly dividing cells that are going through the body, all you need is a few of these cells to populate a region, and it could rapidly develop into uh, a tumorous region. The next type of skin disorder we can take a look at are warts. Now, the nice thing about warts, again, if there can be anything nice about these things, uh, the warts are benign epidermal growth. And so as opposed to uh, the tumorous type cells that we're talking about here, with this region, what we're looking at is essentially a papillomavirus uh, infection to these cells. They're going to uh, divide uh, more rapidly. They're going to differentiate a little bit more differently. Uh, and they're going to develop into these structures. And so these warts are going to be common in young children, young adults, uh, but also individuals with immunosuppression. And that's going to finish up our lecture series on the integumentary system or lecture series on the skin. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at hoffmanj at arcadia.edu. Uh, and hopefully come back for the next series of lectures where we'll talk about the immune system.